All right, guys, here's what's going on today. It is race day. We're going to have some fun instead of work for a change. But the track's been sitting all winter, and it is a mess from all the rain we've had. And we got about four hours to get this thing whipped into shape. So, so here's the track. And as you can tell, winter has not been kind to it. It's got, I don't know, six inch ditches in it. But it does have some moisture in it. So I normally don't do this, but my first plan of attack on this is I'm gonna set the power rake on the old 110 pretty deep. We'll go through, get this top chewed up and probably dig down through the bottom of most of these uh, trenches. Get us something good to work with. At that point, we'll just have to see how it looks. I may take my uh, roller compactor and go around it, pack it in, and then start grading it. We may have to add some water. I don't know. Let's uh, let's just start pie wrecking and see what we got. filled in as good as I'm gonna get with the pie rake but it is dry it is this end here is not too bad but that end down there is nothing but bug dust powder so I guess the next step at this point is gonna be a couple thousand gallon of water and get enough uh, moisture in this dirt we can get it uh, compacted and graded because uh, go-karts don't have suspension and a rough tracks really hard on the bottom end so we're gonna see how good we can get her all right guys, I figured I'd show you my water setup. So I just got a pump set up over in the pond. I just built this thing out of PVC and I put a little bit of angle iron on it to uh, straighten it up to make it easier. That's just an old 300 gallon chemical tote. This is just half inch PVC. I just got took the grinder, cut some grooves in it. Got a pretty decent little spray pattern on it. This wagon was my very first welding project I ever did. And it used to be a luggage cart at an airport. That set of wheels there used to be up here and pivot. I don't know if you can see how that's kind of all rigged in there from years and years and years ago. And this is my favorite tractor of all time. A little 655 John Deere. I'm in this thing. We've been to war and back a few times. And uh, out of everything I own, and some of it may have to do with some sentimental value. That's my favorite piece of equipment right there. But let's... uh. Let's see if this pump will start today. We'll put some water in this thing. We'll put some water down on the track. Turn the gas on here. Give her a little choke, a little throttle. Come on, baby. There we go. <laughs> the whole thing's a jerry rig, but it works. My winter project was to build well, that's not good. All 
All right, what I was saying before I had a water leak is my whole winter project was to build a 500 gallon tank and a little better spray bar so I didn't have to make as many trips, but I ran out of winter. So I'm gonna over to the house, get some glue, glue this pipe back together and fill my tank up. All right, I couldn't find glue. Couldn't find glue, so I ran a ratchet strap from one side to the other, hoping it holds in there good enough. I don't know, it's a, it's a jury rig, but let's see what happens. I can't believe that, that thing ain't, ain't our leaking at all. Tank's filling up, see the water there? It's working. What are you doing, Bo? Here. What we got? Come here. You ready? Come here. Bo, come here. All right, tank is full. It's time to go spread some water. All right, guys, there she is. I got about a thousand gallon of water down on her. I'm gonna let that uh, soak in for a little bit. While that's soaking in, I'm gonna take the power rake off and uh, put the, uh, the drag I got on there. And uh, we'll start making laps and see if we can make her smooth. All right, guys, this is just my eight foot track drag. That one there kind of kicks the dirt side to side and that one there goes around. It has a 90 degree angle on it, so it really don't cut. But it uh it works pretty good for smoothing everything up the whole trick is keeping that top length adjusted to where it stays uh stays level Jason hooked up with the 855 and a roller. That's an interesting piece of equipment there. I'll show that to you guys in a little bit, but he's got to run a lapse and run it in. I'm gonna keep going and try to chase out all the bumps with the drag and hopefully we got a raceable track in a little bit. guys this is the track after we got it done it took us about two hours i like to get the track done about two hours for the race and i give it time to uh set and letting all the moisture and everything come into but it turned out really nice you've seen the uh rutted up mess we had before but it uh it really ran in good had good moisture in it uh good smooth track it's always nice when the plan comes together and the only issue we had was a flat tire and a water leak but 
we got that top. Bo don't like the drone. He tries to attack it. If he could fly, we'd be on the ground right now. But anyway, he's got this pretty cool aerial picture. The only thing left to do now is go get gas for the cart and let's race. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret on how I went on my go-kart races. We're here at the uh, airport. See all the hangers back here? And we're gonna get us some airplane fuel. It really makes my go-kart fly, if you know what I mean. fuel almost looks like a washer fluid. It's all blue and pretty. All right, guys, it's race time. It's time to load old Betsy up, old trusty here, and uh, head to the track. You gonna be flag person, Bo? You wore out from swimming earlier, ain't you? It's race time, guys. Let's head to the track. All right, guys, this is basically practice. Everybody's had their carts all stored up all winter, and we're just kind of running some laps, shaking the carts down. And the whole point of this track is just to uh, blow off steam and have some fun. So everybody's just kind of knocking the dust off in the winter and having a good time. I think we end up having seven carts show up this night, which is a little bit lower than normal, but that's fine. We had enough carts for a race, so that's all that matters. But we're getting ready to... Uh, Getting ready to line them up and we're gonna go racing. That's the plan.
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. As you can tell, it was a pretty good night for me. I went three for three on the races. That uh, last one about got away from me. First and second got to racing each other, and I was able to slide through for the win. So hope you guys enjoyed that. We do this about once a month, so maybe next time I'll try to get a little bit more video of the racing and uh, less of the trap prep. It was just kind of hard to do when you're racing and video and all that at the same time. But we had a blast. Everybody had fun. Everybody was safe, and that's the main thing. So... Hope you guys enjoyed as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you just take a few seconds to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe button, and tap the bell so you'll catch the next video. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at dirtperfect1.com. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you on the next one.